Hello friends, let's learn today the surface landmarking of anterior abdominal wall. What is anterior median plane? It is the plane passing through siphoid process in front which lies at the level of 9th thoracic vertebra below to the pubic tubercle which lies at the level of coccyx. Posteriorly, the plane of an, uh, abdominal wall becomes low because uh, less extended due to the presence of thoracic cage above and gluteal region below. What is supralateral margins of the anterior abdominal wall? The supralateral margins are nothing but the right and left coastal margins formed by the coastal part of 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th ribs. Now, what is subcoastal plane? The 10th coastal margin lies at the region of mid-axillary mid region. A transverse plane passing through this mid-axillary region of 10th coastal margin forms subcoastal plane which lies at the level of 3rd lumbar vertebrae. What is infrasternal or subcostal angle? As we can see, it is the sternum and these are the ribs. The coastal part of the right and left ribs forms the subcostal angle, at the apex of which lies the siphoid process. What is the highest point of iliac crest? It lies just below Sorry, just behind the midpoint of iliac crest and passes through L4 vertebrae. Tubercle of iliac crest lies 5 cm behind the anterior superior iliac spine and it lies over 5th lumbar vertebrae. A transverse plane passing through the tubercle form intertubercular plane. Now, what is inguinal ligament? It is the uh, ligament formed by the aponeurosis of external oblique abdominis, which lies between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle. Now, there are two different words, midpoint of inguinal ligament and midinguinal point. Midpoint of inguinal ligament is the middle point between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle, whereas Mid-inguinal point stands for the midpoint between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic symphysis. Now, what is spermatic cord? It is soft rounded cord present in male which can be felt beneath the skin when it moves downwards near the medial end of inguinal ligament. When palpated between finger and thumb, there is a firm palpation at its posterior end, which is ductus deferens. Along with ductus deferens, or which is known as vas deferens, there is arteries. There are arteries, veins, lymph vessels, and nerves. Which are the arteries? Arteries to testis, that is testicular arteries, arteries to ductus deferens, and cremasteric arteries. Veins includes the pempiniform plexus of veins. This is the plexus formed around the testis. Lymph vessels from testis. The nerves include genital branch of genitofemoral nerve and visceral afferent nerves around testis. We can also find the remnants of processes vaginalis near or around the spermatic cord which is nothing but during embryonic development the remnants of peritoneal outpouching. Now, what is linea alba? In anterior abdominal plane, we can find a median furrow, which stands for the underlying linea alba, also known as white line. Just below the midpoint of linea alba, lies the depressed or elevated area known as umbilicus. During intrauterine life, the exchange of nutrients 
takes place through umbilicus between mother and fetus. Now, what is linea semilunaris? It is a curved vertical groove lateral to the median furrow, which extends above to the tip of ninth costal cartilage and below to the pubic tubercle. Now, what is transpyloric plane? It is the transverse plane passing anteriorly through the tip of ninth costal cartilage and posteriorly through the first lumbar vertebra. As we can see, the name transpyloric with the, along this plane lies the pyloric region of stomach, beginning of duodenum, neck of pancreas, fundus of gallbladder. Now, what is the renal angle? It is present on the posterior part, angle formed between the outer border of erector spiny muscle and the 12th rib. This is known as renal angle. Here lies the lower part of the kidney. 